Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Uh, I'm ripping into the interior on the VN this week. So, high quality VN. Uh, and you might ask, why am I underneath the car if I'm getting stuck into the interior? Well, I'm gonna use this and uh, we're gonna make some room under here. So, cause I'm gonna run this VN on the ground, uh, like as low as possible, I actually need to clearance a bit down here. Uh, so this is a dent from the tail shaft at some stage in its life. But I'm going to remove this bump stop here. Like the diff isn't quite sitting on it at the moment there uh, at that height, but we're gonna be a little bit lower than that. So I'm gonna remove that and I'm going to chop a section out here. Um, I have already marked it out and I've just drilled some holes that one's a bigger hole because I couldn't couldn't get straight in there uh, to mark the corners because I'm not going to cut it from under the car. I'm actually going to go uh, inside the car and cut it from the top because yeah, it's just a lot more a lot cleaner cut and everything. Um, and I have this, which is about the right size. Needs some trimming, but once I've lopped that section out there, uh, yeah, we're basically going to notch this, make it fit, make it fit that hole. So this uh, pretty much, it got stripped um, to do the tubs. Um, if you remember, and you watched my previous videos, you know I didn't start the tubs. Uh, yeah, she ain't looking good in here, right? So have finished the tubs. Um, as you've seen, I'm about to chop that out. So we need to weld some bits in there, but for now, what I'm going to do is we're gonna strip this full interior. So take out the seats, all the crap, spares, um, all the carpet and everything. Um, so like she's, she's not, uh, not the best in here, right? So, but I feel like this carpet has potential. Let's, well, it's gonna work anyway. Uh, I do have a few other things that I'm doing. So what I'm, uh, going to get stuck into as well when I cut this out. I'm going to weld in a battery tray um, back here. So I'm going to put a dry cell battery in it. Um, so just a little mount for that. Um, and I'm going to weld a plate on the floor, like a threaded plate, uh, so that I can get a good quality earth on the battery um, and then run a short earth lead sort of thing for it. Um, so yeah, battery center mounted just here somewhere. And then I'll just run a, I haven't worked it out where, but just a little threaded plate around here so I can just run the cable short off the battery straight to the floor pan but yeah also if you did watch the first episodes on this car you'll know it uh it sat for a while possibly windows down and everything i think geez now i'm testing my memory um but it does have rust in it and i'm not going to worry about fixing any of that stuff because we you know rust just means it's lighter right um so from here though she's not going to get a roof lining Gonna leave that out of it for now. I'm probably gonna source a roof lining at some stage. I just don't have one at the moment, um, but I have sourced a few other bits. So I've got an executive back seat, um, which I have to make fit because obviously these tubs uh, are going to hinder that a little bit. So I'm going to get the angle grinder out. We're gonna trim some foam out of the seats and see what we can make work. Um, I don't have high expectations. Um, what it is going to turn out like, but we'll see. I think I can do a reasonable job um, on, yeah, making the seats fit, the, the tubs basically, so. You can see she's pretty, she's pretty rough. So I wish I would take all this out and we'll unbolt the seats and yeah, definitely moldy. Um, but yeah, we'll give this all a good wash. Uh, I don't think we'll get the interior back in this episode because it is the middle of winter currently and yeah, stuff ain't gonna dry out at the moment. So we're gonna at least wash everything today. Um, I don't think I'm gonna take the door trims off. I do need one more executive, uh, so driver's side rear door, executive um, door trim. So if anyone has one, uh, let me know. Uh, that's in SA and I can maybe buy it off you. Um, let me know. Alrighty, enough of my mumble. Let's get stuck into pulling some interior out, hacking up this floor, and then, yeah, we'll start welding some bits back in here so that I can get the carpet in and at least get a back seat fitted today, I think. So, um, but yeah, let's get to it. <laughs>
So seats are out and uh, she's a bit rough. There's been some rats and or mice living in here. So, ooh, $1.25, I'm uh, making money now. I only paid $598.75 for it. She's paying off. Yeah, like it is definitely rough and it smells in here. This is definitely the worst smelling car that I've owned somehow. I think some of this will clean up pretty good. So we're gonna continue now ripping out this carpet, take the center console out. I'm gonna pull the pedal box out and yeah, just continue jamming on it. Let's get it. good five years of this thing sitting outside with no windows in it probably what's the carpet like under it <laughs> that's actually pretty good considering this thing would have some miles on it being a uh, x-cop car yeah I'm actually surprised the condition of that carpet Okay, interior is out. Well, seats and carpet are out. And that was a very gross job. So far, I haven't found any like rat's nests. Uh, anywhere any mice or rats have been eating any wires, but I did find some wiring that is very questionable in it. So I'm gonna have to fix that as well uh, some stage soon. For now, let's see whether these seats will clean up and hopefully in the end look something like that. But they're pretty, yeah. That's like, I mean, I don't even want to know what it is. I think it's oil, to be honest, but it's a couple burns and stitching isn't the best on it, but yeah, 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 yeah. As long as they uh, turn out a little bit better than that, then I'll be happy. And once again, same as when I did the Falcon, I'm just using a bit of this, uh, spray it on, let it soak, hit it with the pressure washer, see how she goes.
All right, so it's been a week. Uh, I've let everything dry out. So sorry in advance for all the time lapses in this video. Um, just know if there's a two minute time lapse, I've done like four or five hours work uh, to make all that happen. But everything's dried, or well, as dry as it's going to get at the moment. I've made an absolute mess. Trimmed a heap of crap out of this seat. Uh, this is the back of the back seat. I've put it in and I've just marked the tubs where they sit and I've cut, basically I've just cut all the frame out of that section. Pulled a little bit of the foam out so this is all sort of soft and that will kind of just flex around the tub hopefully. Um, but yeah, it wasn't a mint seat to start with so it was kind of like whatever happens, happens with it. I've also ticked off a few of the time consuming jobs, the small jobs that I can't or that aren't good to film sort of thing. So you can see I've just finished off that little tail shaft clearance uh, channel thing. I've got a battery in here. I have started running cables. I'm only running them down the center because I had a piece of uh, battery cable and that was as long as it was gonna be. It didn't, didn't reach to go on the outside. So I'm trying to get all these little jobs out of the way uh, before I start putting any of the interior back in. I'm kind of thinking ahead, what am I gonna to wanna to do? Uh, what am I gonna want in here? One of the things that I did put in was uh, some cables for the RCAs on the, I'd like to put a sub in the boot because VN Commodore has to have a sub. Yes, I've run it with the power cable. It will be fine. It's not gonna be a show car, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, so all that's done. Pretty happy with how it turned out. I do have to do the fuel pump wiring still. I've got seat belts back in. I've got the pedal box back in. Um, I've blocked off that part of the air conduct that goes over to here. Uh, I think those vents, I'm actually gonna put gauges in perhaps. Then we're going to put an air fuel ratio gauge in it and probably just a boost gauge, something along those lines. Oil pressure maybe, I'll see how it go. So see what we uh, what we end up with in here. From here, we're pretty much clean her out and uh, put some carpet in, put some seats in, see how it all turned out. So I reckon it's gonna turn out pretty good. Like, I mean, the seats didn't come up as good as I was thinking they would. I mean, I didn't, I didn't have high hopes to be honest, so but that'll be all right. Uh, but yeah, once again, sorry about the time lapses. Uh, and here's another time lapse. That's exciting. Didn't turn out the best, but not bad. Tubbed van has a back seat. First time this car's had a back seat since I've owned it. Whew. And it smells 100,000 times better in here than it did before. It's getting there. Thank you. 
Well, she's not a show car, as I stated, but it has cleaned up pretty good. I don't know uh, about this, but front seats, rear seats, definitely a different color. Obviously, I got them. These came with the car. Rear seats I bought separately, um, but I just kind of figured all VN executive seats would be the same color. I don't know whether these are just more faded than these ones or something. Um, but yeah, I'm not too fussed about that anyway. I've still got lots of um, things to do. I haven't put anything in here because obviously I need to get the gearbox in so I can work out shifter position. And then that is the main battery cable, main power from the back. I'm gonna put an isolator in this area somewhere, uh, wherever works. This is another cool thing that I come across when I was cleaning. Uh, the build sheets for the car were under the carpet. Don't know if I've seen it before, to be honest. I mean, it's probably common. Maybe I've only had cars that, you know, have been pulled apart before, but yeah. Government order, BT1, Adelaide. I mean, I don't know, lots of codes, but yeah, pretty cool anyway. I thought there was actually two, one under the, uh, passenger seat floor under the carpet and one under the driver's seat floor under the carpet so I uh, left the driver's one under there but yeah I think everything turned out pretty good the the tubs are concealed wouldn't even know nighttime sunroof uh but yeah and it still need a roof lining I still need that replacement uh door trim as I said before that's why I haven't cleaned that one yet uh, and I still need a VN steering wheel, not a VR steering wheel. So a few different things to sort out, but you know, three pedals. Um, we're getting pretty close to, uh, I'm going to say we're, we're over the point where like before it would be like, oh, I'm going to fab something every day that I, f I film sort of thing. I'm starting to get to the point where we're just bolting stuff back together. Um, so that means progress. So I'm excited about that. I do need to sort out some door seals for it still. Um, that one there has none on it at all. These ones pretty shagged. I do have uh, some door seals that come with it, so I need to go through them and sort that out, but yeah, not today. Um, that's gonna be it for this week's video though. So thanks everybody for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you like what you see, make sure you hit the like button. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next week.